right, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to do beach wave curls that I do on my hair. I use a flat iron when I do it. Um, it's practice stuff that makes perfect. So I will show you how I do it so you guys can practice. So I use my Beyond Body spray and I spray my hair with it before I curl it. I usually brush it just so I don't pull my own hair. And then I'm going to take the flat iron and hold it vertically and wrap my hair around it while I kind of spin and pull my hair up. So it gives me a loose curl. And I'm going to continue this taking new sections of my hair, not too thick, not too thin, just because they'll get lost. I'm going to do this side. I'm lucky that I have this awesome mirror set up for my Kia where I can open it and there's mirrors on every side so I can actually see the back of my hair. I guess if I turn this way you guys can see it better. If your hair is long I would suggest holding the end just so it doesn't end up in the not hot part of the flat iron. And I just kind of put the hair in and I spin the flat iron to give it a curl. And then I miss a piece. So that first section is done. So then I'm going to pull down another section. And I'm going to use that spray again. And brush out my hair. If you do not have a mirror that you can't see the back, just bring everything forward, that way you can see it better. But I'm gonna insert my flat iron vertically. And just spin the flat iron while my hair is in it. I'm going to take the next piece. I kind of have to see what I'm doing. And see how my hair is still on the plate. I want to make sure your hair is still on the plate. If it gets stuck, you can just kind of open and close your flat iron a little bit to release it. There you go. This side is my old shape side, so it's not as long. You just want to make sure that your curls are going away from your face. This side I tend to wrap because this isn't my better side. So you can do that as well. Where you take the hair and you wrap it around the flat iron. And then you spin it. So then I get this piece right here. The back is always.
always the hardest. So the back I usually wrap. And I can't really see what's going on here. So then in my own way. Okay, that was good. Then we'll get this little guy. think I'm missing any. So I'm going to take my next section, I'm like sweating. I hate doing my own hair. Not that anyone ever does my hair for me, but same. Spray. If you don't spray your hair before you curl it, I guarantee you it's not going to stay in. So all my clients were like, if it just doesn't stay, you're not using the right products. Aquage is your go-to for curls. I love Aveda, but Aquage, curls, updos, sorry, they take the cake. So again, I'm going to take a section, vertically insert the flat iron, and then rotate as I go, opening and closing my flat iron if it's not coming straight out with ease. Then I got this guy inserting the flat iron, rotating it. Even I don't get it perfect. And then if your ends look a little whack, <laughs> you can take it again and just go over to the ends. See? It's like it never happened. Now I'm going to take the back. Grab my next piece. I'm literally sweating. It's 
so I need central air, man, to pop it on. I don't care if it's the middle of winter. Doing my hair is wet. So annoying. And I can work out for an hour and I don't sweat, but the minute I have to do my hair, I'm like, oh. Side's done. So now I'm going to part, spray, brush it out. And then I'm going to take my flat iron and rotate. Take the hair, I put it in the flat iron, and then I rotate the flat iron as I go down the hair strand. Ding. Looks so easy, it's not, it sucks. Practice, babies, practice, practice, practice. Some volume, so I usually bring this stuff backwards. So it's similar. Open and close if your flat iron sticks to your hair a little bit. Here's the biggest. Now we spray. I use the Aquage Finishing Spray because it has a good hold to it, but it's still breakable because I want to still run my fingers through it to break the curls up. Spray, 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 spray. And then you don't touch. That is the biggest thing that'll make your curls fall right out. So, I let it sit for a few, make sure that your hair pulls down, and then I put everything away in its place. That's just today, because you guys are watching me. Make sure you don't completely put your flat iron away when it's hot, hot, hot. I just let it sit and cool down. Just gonna wait till it's cool to the touch. Make sure it's dried with flyways. 
now it feels cool to the touch. I'm gonna just run my hands through. Just to break up the curls. And I'm not gonna worry if it's not absolutely perfect. That's our biggest, we are our biggest critics. You want it to be messy. You don't want it to be look like you just curled it perfectly with, you know, each curl going the same way, none of that. So you want it to be messy, full. And once you get a set style that you like, sit down. Then you're gonna go in with your air control from Aveda, which I don't know if you guys have smelled it. I wish you could smell through this. It smells so damn good. But this is like a really dry gas spray that doesn't look at all like you're having a spray on, but it has a ton of hold. And it smells so good when your hair is disgustingly dirty like mine. Don't be afraid to spray. So that's the hair look. Hope you guys like it. Now I gotta do my makeup.